Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Good Morning Soul. Today, we are doing another short film review, animated, the animated ones, and this one is live action, again, ironically. Today, we are reviewing The Dam Keeper, and this is a story about anamorphic animals um, to... Uh, it's primarily about a small little boy. He is a pig, and he goes to school with all his little animal friends, and his animal friends aren't his friends. They are assholes. He gets bullied at school every day. Uh, he's just trying to live his life. He's just trying to live at home where he helps with this uh, windmill. He lives... They live on like a, like, it's like a dam, but there's a windmill on top of the dam, and there's like a town beneath it, but the town is like, um, like he goes to school on like a, the bus is like a, it's like a, what are those things called? I forget the name, but it's like on ropes and pulleys, and that's how he gets to school, so, really creative design stuff, really creative ideas here. The animation style, it's very uh, smoggy, you can see a lot of the pencils, and it's it's very strange. Um, and that kind of goes into the themes of the story, which uh, for some reason they don't like pigs. Pigs are like the racist, uh, people are racist towards pigs, they're like the uh, minority outcasts in this world, which is weird, like People are calling, like, pigs dirty in this. There's, like, a fucking hippo bullying him. It doesn't make any sense. But, as the story plays out... I'm very tired today. As the story plays out... He, um... He, uh, he gets bullied. And then, there's a new kid at school. It's a fox. And the fox, he, like, he likes to draw. And so... We see these scenes like where uh, the teacher snaps at him and then uh, the guy, his friend will like draw a crude picture of the teacher and then he'll get bullied and then the friend will draw a crude picture of the bullies. And it's like they kind of have like this small little friendship going on but obviously the fox is like connecting with these other kids. Uh, meanwhile the pig doesn't have any friends. So fox, he... He's hanging out with these other kids, and Pig approaches him. He sees a picture of himself, and it says, Dirty Pig. And throughout the film, this pig, he's basically just been taking all of these fucking jabs from these bullies and everyone. He's not super sad about it. He's a strong kid. But at this point, he breaks down and starts crying. He runs off. This is what really affects him. And as this happens... There is a smog that, like, falls over the dam. It is this, like, dirty cloud of darkness. And it uh, engulfs the entire town. And I, I assumed everyone was just dying because uh, it would, like, run over, like, flowers. And the flowers would die. So I was like, okay, this is dark. And the pig... Uh, he, because, you know, he lived in this fucking d disgusting area where he has to, he, like, had a mask that his father gave him, and he put that on to survive, and then he goes to the windmill, cranks it up, the windmill flies the gas away, and the town is, the town is safe. And the children start uh, appreciating him. No, that doesn't happen. The fox does come to visit him. And they have this, like, joke where the he draws the fox. Um, in the same way they drew the other kids. And it's kind of like, ah, that's their way of making up. Roll credits. Uh, we end the film on them playing together. Very happy-go-lucky ending for otherwise darker note towards the end. I enjoyed this one. I like the animation. It caught me in the feels. I just didn't think there was like a whole lot else to the film. It did get a little bit long there compared to the other films in the series. It was like, what? It was like 10 minutes long, it felt like. Um, I just thought it could have been better. I think it was longer than that, actually. So, I just, uh... 
for for how long it was and everything, I was expecting a little bit more. But otherwise, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it the same fucking rating that I've been giving a lot of these films. That I'm just kind of like, yeah, that was good. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. I do enjoy how the animation kind of tied into the themes and the friendship thing. I thought all of that was good. I thought it was unique how uh, there was like a voiceover towards the beginning. I was even thinking to myself, wow, none of these films have any dialogue. It was weird to hear somebody's voice. But that only was at the very end and very beginning of the film. I thought that was interesting. and. I'm rambling. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next short film review. That was my review of The Dam Keeper. I'll see you in the next one, and with that, I leave you.